Welcome back everybody. We got them calves gone and we got the next batch going. And yesterday I bought us a whole bunch more cows to fill back up. So we need to go get set up where we're gonna put these new cows. Quick shout out right here. Thunderhill cattle, Mark Blaha out in Bloomer, Wisconsin. Thunder Hills registered Jersey. Mater was out here. Good to see him. <laughs> Ellie's here. Say hi to your friends. Oh my God. <laughs> we gotta get a chute. We gotta get some tire, silage tires moved and some bunks set up, shut some gates. We need a hat. Can't find a hat. Let's do this. That's what's happening on Ranching Sodak. Okay my hat let's go get a ball hitch put on this thing sunday so we just got back from church gotta do another shout out to the howard south dakota basketball team last night they took the state championship we were down to the game that was a really good game so congrats to those guys ran into a few fans down there there's a hinker i don't know what's the hinker boy's name he's a loyal follower to the channel tons of shout outs today bud who else got to see bub volts bub volts classmate of mine another solid youtube follower on our channel so good to catch up with him i don't know if we got any smarter but i don't i'm pretty sure we didn't get any dumber by talking to each other the coyote hunters are out in force today i don't know if you guys have ever watched them greyhound cross dogs that chase coyotes here's a couple of pickups and a ranger right there do you see them there's a drop box on a ranger Greyhounds are in there and then they'll get the coyotes found, get them running, and then they'll dump them boxes, like four dogs a trip, send them and then they'll go catch them coyotes. It's kind of fun to watch. So we'll drop the chute here. This is that site where it's just gonna be pasture and, uh, but that's the cornfield over there, but it's all gone. We'll shut that gate and we'll have water, trees, shelter. We'll bring some bunks over here, get them set up. Oh, I didn't have the old girl plugged in, but it's only like 20, 28. She should go. Oh, yeah. Yep. Before we get there. Yep. No worries, I guess. We'll get keep getting set up here. Get some feed moved over there, so yeah, I'll be fine. All right, I'll probably give you a call when I, when, once we go through Britain. Sure, that'll work. All right, thanks. Yep, thank you. Bye. He said there was a big line, a bunch of Texas oh. trucks at Fort Pier. Okay, take a deep breath, calm down. We got some time. We'll do a good job of getting set up. Is that your real smile? Okay, that's <laughs> dreamy. <laughs> Silage feeding tires over to the new cows. tire fell and then hooked this and busted my light so that's awesome is there any duct tape in the pickup fricker not good antonio dang it maybe after his wife and his dog light's not going to go helpful i just want to hold it together until i can fix it or change it i figured i don't want to break any more than i already have and the two bunks to our feeding option
gates closed. Get ready for the new cows to arrive. Well, we shut a few gates, got the bunks filled, waiting for the trucks. They just called, said they're about 10 minutes out, so I like to play Hungry Hungry Hippos. Oh, there they are. So, there should be three loads coming, but that'll be good. We'll get, get him unloaded and get the plan made. They said they, they stood dry. They didn't have no feeder water last night. The trailer's dry. Oh my. One more load to go. That was Lee. He's pretty good shit. Got Wynn will be the last guy, the last truck. This group they actually stopped and stayed at the bunks, so that was good. The other group made it all the way out to that gate. We didn't get closed, which was bad. But uh, I think they're they'll circle back around here and come in. see what the demeanor is of that first group that made it out in the cornfield. Should have got that darn gate shut, but I didn't get her shut. 
they'll be back this is where the feed is and they do know it's here we just got to get the commotion out of here and then they'll be back we got them all unloaded obviously and then i'm good we kind of watched them around they're all fine in the feed in the water but i am going to grab a little bite to eat and hang out here until just about dark and then i'll head over there again and make sure they're finding their way around and settling in so we'll go check them after a bit here it's kind of a big door stop what's going on guys well let's cruise back over there and check some stuff shut a gate between the two groups of cows and we're gonna wrap this thing up it's kind of cold out today it was a little bit of snow last night and then it uh, i don't know what it's been like it's 23 right now and the wind's blowing like 15 maybe so yeah it felt kind of wintry today well they're all up here by the bunk if there is one cow way off by yourself i don't know if they being banged around in the sail barn for a few days and then hauled out here if uh, she's trying to slough her calf or if she just uh, something else is going on i'd like to sneak over and try to get her number so we can kind of watch that and see what comes of of it really not a lot you can do they are all tucked in here just kind of what we were hoping for out of the wind and they got the bunks and the water so they're calmed right down in there i put a couple bills of hay put a couple bills of corn stalks um and then of course the bunks were full of silage and the water tank is right there so these guys should just get settled in we'll feed them tomorrow wagon and get a look at them all good but so far pretty happy with how they look them are all third calvers so every single one of them is a coming coming four-year-old with her third calf besides from the one that's off by herself that's definitely not that's definitely not good but there's not a lot you can do with stuff like that it just just happens moving cows around that sometimes you know it just sometimes happens so she actually she actually has a bag 0468 <clears throat> I think she's actually gonna calve like maybe potentially could be calving a lot of these cows didn't have hardly any bag at all they're not supposed to be to calve till uh, April 20th but I think that was an I think that was ultrasound tested so there was probably like these are probably like second cycle cows meaning they ultrasounded and all the first 30 days cows um, were in one group and these were the second cycle cows she actually looks like she's full term and ready to have a calf for real it could be 10 days early it could be a week early but with the jostling around she might have you know it might have started it up or maybe thinking about starting it up so i don't know i'm not nearly as uh afraid of what i just saw now she's acting more normal like she's gonna have a normal birth it's way 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 too early for our operation but i guess when you buy cows you don't have any other choice you kind of get what you get so we'll check her tomorrow she's in a town in a little low spot there and kind of out of the wind and there is some taller grass in that low spot so best of luck to her see what happens thanks for tuning in we are going to be loading calves up for sale those last 90-ish head of angus calves are going to the sale barn so that'll be the next video so stay tuned for that and we will catch you on the next one peace <laughs>